Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from the roof of Grand Molehole Station in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 Survival Series. In the previous episode, we got back from a freaking giant ass adventure trying to find ourselves some slime. And in this freaking episode, we are going to be working on that bad boy down there. That is the Nether Portal Temple. If you're new from somewhere on the interbubs, that temple is built in commemoration of our very first nether portal temple in the series. But I'm angry with you because you have started on episode 20, number 26 of season 2 and that means you haven't watched any of the previous videos and you're a freaking butthole. Go and watch the previous videos before I get really angry with the ass. Freaking bastard. Um, <laughs> anyway guys, um, now that I've done pep talking that guy who didn't watch the previous episodes, we are back looking at the nether portal temple and as you can see guys i have been busy i've been i've made some changes that i hope you're all gonna love um i've added a couple of grates here to the front of the entrance so i think that's looking pretty sweet let's get down to ground level so that we can see it a little bit more clearly um so there we go man this th this is the thing right i was having a conversation with some cyber dogs on dogcraft.net this week and some of them mentioned that this temple needs some serious ventilation, man. There is some serious ventilation problems with this temple. I mean, think, think how nasty it's going to get in here, man. With all this freaking soul sand, nether warts everywhere, lava. Man, we need to get some air up in here. So this is our very first ventilation shaft. Um, as you can see, guys, I've done a lot of work around here. I've basically used all of our nether brick. Um, and one of the biggest, biggest requests that I've got in the comment section is to add lava pillars to the temple, just like in the nether. Um, so thank you to everybody who's been commenting on the previous videos, guys. I've taken, I've tried to read as many of the comments as is humanly possible. There are hundreds of them, so um, forgive me if I missed yours. But a lot of you suggested about making some lava pillars, and this is exactly what I've done right here. I think it looks really sweet. And um, there was a suggestion to use, to use um, iron fencing because iron fencing looks really good in this tile set. And I think it really does suit uh, the nether portal temple. And I think we're going to be adding lava down here. I did try to add fire, um, but I thought that it, just, it was just too much. Um, and mostly because the animation of the fire um, isn't random. So, ooh, oh lord, this is not a safe place to be! So what I mean by that is that the, the, the fire animation, as you can see it, it complete, it's, in, it's in sync. So every single uh, fire sprite moves in exactly the same way and I just, I don't like it at all. I don't like the way it looks. Um, it's also very noisy, the, the fire sort of overpowers everything and I kind of like the sound of uh, the temples, you know, sucking each other's, sucking in each other's ethereal juices. I kind of dig that man. Now this is what... I mean, this, I am very proud of this, man. This is a brazier, and this was suggested by none other than Mud Dog from dogcraft.net, and I think it is a brilliant suggestion. Look at how sweet that is looking. Damn! Um, it is a brazier with an ever-burning flame, and I've also added um, braziers to the glass walls on this side, and of course, this was also a suggestion from another cyber dog called Neo Shade, and I think that it looks freaking sweet. Check it that man. We've got the air ventilation going on. So we've got air coming in here. Um, this is going to be repeated on all four corners um, of the nether portal temple. And we've got light at night. And what I've done is I've alternated the things here. So we've got soul sand and soul sand over there. And we've got nether rack over here and nether rack over here. So let's switch to map mode um, to have a look at this sweet ass design. If you press alt and press z you can zoom in so that's looking at a more zoomed in version of the nether portal temple and it's looking sweet oh god it looks so good i just don't know what to do man i'm freaking out i'm freaking out at the awesomeness um i think the nether portal temple really is coming along quite jazzily my friends um but what we need to do now is just carry on working on this nether portal temple what we're going to need to do is head back into the nether uh, unfortunately, so that we can get some more nether rack and more importantly, some more lava. Because we need a butt ton of lava to complete what we want to complete here. So I'm going to be taking all of my freaking uh, buckets. I've got 16 buckets back into the nether. I think what I want to do first though is complete the actual pillars so we can see what it looks like. So what I had to do, right, because lava flows exponentially, 
Um, you don't want to make any mistakes with the lava. So what we need to make sure we, we do here is make a hole for where the lava can flow into. So we want the lava to be flowing into here, right? So we want the lava to flow down into there and then it's going to get isolated. Um, and exactly the same thing applies to this side of it here. So there is the lava hole, if you will. And that is where it's going to get trapped. And we're going to turn these nether bricks into stairs. Because um, that's what I've done over here. You can see over here I've added steps. Just to try and make it less jagged um, than the blocks that currently exist over here. So, um, I think that we have come to a very, very excellent design that I'm very happy with. With the pillars of lava. Um, I hope you guys feel the same. Hit me up in the comment section below, guys. I'm dying to know what you think about all the new stuff around the Nether Portal Temple. Um, I think it's looking pretty sweet. I've changed all the walls of all the lava pits to netherrack also. And what I thought about doing was actually opening up these gaps over here. So when the lava um, flow... Oh, this is something I haven't shown you yet either. So this is going to be like a lava pillar that goes all the way up. Probably to the same height as the top of the temple. And that's going to go up on all three corners there with the lava pouring down. And I kind of want to make the lava flow, uh, in inverted commas, through here. Through like a... Um, a flowing tunnel thingy uh, if that makes any sense and I think that would be really sweet actually so that's what I might do there um, what I quickly wanted to do was just break this glowstone and replace it with some netherrack guys we have we literally have 15 netherrack left uh, that's it <laughs> so we're gonna have to be heading back to the fortress to collect some more netherrack uh, nether brick sorry I think I've been saying nether rack. My bad, guys. Nether brick is what I mean. We're going to need a butt, butt ton more nether brick. In fact, I don't think I have... Yep, we only have 15 nether brick left. Um, excellent. Well, what I want to do first is um, go and collect some lava and, and lava, lava fire this place, man. Let's, let's get some lava up in this business. So it's back to the nether. Hopefully there won't be too many gas, although... We are having a, a lot of success with glass these days, guys, and I'll tell you why. Rambo absolutely owns them. I don't know what that sound is, but um, it's freaking me out. I don't think that was a glass. That was... I don't know what that was, but I'm going far away from it as far as possible. Um, so, if you guys remember when we were back in the nether, Rambo actually does really well. Hello, piggies. <laughs> I just, I just came here to tell you that I am currently masterminding a trap that is going to kill you all. Oh yes, it is going to murderize you and all your stinky people. Freaking butt bandit. Oh yes, you can get angry. You mad bro? You freaking mad? He's mad. <laughs> um, right, let's collect some lava. Bam! Man, that is a lot of lava. Right, I think, wow. Man, we are full up on lava. Sweet! Back to the freaking butthole of the nether thing. Oh, guys, a lot of you guys have given me such amazing hints about the nether, man. I think I may have mentioned this in the last episode, but apparently light doesn't stop spawning in the nether, so it's actually pointless putting torches down. And I did kind of notice that, because when you put to torches, nothing actually happens. Oh, God, it is a ghast. We're outies! So it's actually pointless putting torches in um, in the nether, and it's just a waste of CPU, in my opinion. Right, so now we've got a butt ton of freaking um, lava. So let's get up to the top of the, the nether portal. Hey! And let's complete the other three lava... Um, I, I don't even know what these things are called, man. Lava traps? Man, it is precarious up here. Um, so what we what I've had to do for the brazier, I, I, I'd like to show you now, is, a, is actually add another row of nether brick here. I didn't want to just dangle the brazier from the glass. It doesn't really make sense. It's kind of a physics fail. So um, I'm going to be adding another uh, sort of support over here throughout the temple. I think it actually works really well because, you know, this is a lot of glass, man. It does need another support beam, in my humble opinion. Um, so I think that that actually works really well. So... We are looking down the hole of the next lava pillar, and that's 
freaking skeleton is looking on also. You watch what it means to make something sweet, you butthole. You've never crafted anything in your life. God damn. Bastard. Alright, so there we go, guys. So that pillar should be going down nicely. Let's have a look. There it goes. Hopefully, uh, I've lined it up correctly so that it actually goes into its butthole. It, you know, that this lava actually goes into the butthole that is meant for it. Please go into the butthole. Please. Yeah, it does look like it's lined up correctly. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Um, we do not want to have a, a massive lava spill around here. I mean, that's for sure. Right, that looks like it's also lined up correctly. So, let's just do what we've done for the other two lava pillars. Just like that. Looking good. Let's drop some lava in there. Let's make sure that that is going to go into its butthole. Oh god, that doesn't look right. Well, time will tell. And this is the final lava pillar over here. No! Whew, damn, that, I sucked up that nether brick. I was like, hell no, I'm not losing that freaking nether brick. Um, <laughs> and the final uh, lava thingy. Right, let's head down to ground level, guys, and look what our new lava pillars look like. I think they're going to look so sweet. Oh my goodness, that actually, that is the cat's pajamas, as they say. Look at that, guys. Oh, 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 oh damn. That is the, that is what I'm talking about. Yes, I love it. I think it looks absolutely sweet. And um, what we need to do now is get some, we need to get more nether brick so that we can make steps. But maybe what I'll do is just pillage from here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, netherrack pit. For now, I need your jazz. Because we need to freaking pimpify this place. Um, right, how did I do this? Let's have a look. Okay, so, we had one... We have to make the brickage, though. Oh, man, this is painful. Painful stealing all these bricks. I mean, all these steps. But uh, it is necessary. We need to see the full effect. I think what we'll do is just do the two front ones. So let's do these ones. It looks like what I did was I added a step here. Two, two steps, it seems. Right. Step! Oh, I just, I actually burnt a nether, a bit of nether brick there, which is, makes me a sad, sad, sad doggy. Do not burn! And then I think it's literally, oh, it's this old freaking story again, isn't it? Oh, God. How did I do this, man? Oh, you, you, you are not welcome here! Yes, burn in lava, you bastard! <laughs> Man, that was brutal. <laughs> um, okay, so it looks like... Man, how did we... How did we do this? It's definitely not like this, right? Because that... It's just not taking. No. Oh, God! Hmm. Alright, guys. I'm going to be right back once I've figured out how the heck to do this. Kaplam! Alright guys, we are back. I just, I cannot figure it out, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I think I'm going to actually have to kill the lava pillars um, to, to try again because right now the risk of death is too great. But um, I think that that is looking freaking sweet. Oh man, and once I've got the, the grates in and stuff, it's going to look even better. Um, I mean, what I can do now is just fill some of these, you know, some of these, um, these pits. Let's see how much um lava we can actually get through before we run out and i think what we're going to do then guys is head to the nether to go and collect some more freaking resources man because we need a whole bunch more nether resources and um let's just get this pit filled with lava and covered in glass and that's going to give us a sweet idea um you know about what the whole temple is going to look like in the end 
and I am so happy with it, man. I think that it's, it's turned out so excellently. I'm so freaking proud of this craft. This is like by far the sweetest thing that I've ever built. Well, I think so anyway. Um, it may not be your guys' favorite thing, but it's definitely my favorite craft so far. Um, mostly because of the, the, the new stuff that I'm trying to build. So um, I'm especially proud of like these braziers and, and this wall over here. I think that it is really freaking sweet and um, I can't wait to actually get it built across the, the nether portal temple itself. It's going to be so awesome and it was really simple to build. It's basically just three blocks and then a brazier and then three blocks and then a brazier and then three blocks and then a brazier. Um, so, you know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool build and I, mean, I think maybe we should just try and let's put up which let's put down all our buckets i'm kind of in the mood to build another one of those walls um it's actually really fun to build believe it or not <laughs> i actually really enjoy it so i'm gonna get what netherrack i have left for the braziers we've got our where's our flint and steel too uh there's a flint and steel so we've got our um, fencing that we need We've got the glass that we need and we've got the nether rack that we need to actually complete the braziers. So I tell you what we're going to do. Let's work on this side. Um, right, so the way that this works is two iron fences and then, and then glass. So it completes itself and then it's three, three glass, right? Three glass and a nether rack. Three glass and a nether rack. And then rinse and repeat. Three glass, nether rack. Three glass. And then I guess um, we're going to have to work on the, on the connection to this wall. So um, that'll be quite a big mission to, to participate in. But that'll be fun. I don't know how I'm actually going to connect the walls to the entrance. That's going to be a challenge in itself, um, but we'll figure that out. And then all we're doing is we're put, putting the um, the iron bars around the brazier like that. Let's get onto the wall. Then we're lighting. Well, let's just build the walls first. So one, two, one, two. They're three high. And let's set the brazier on fire. Then we can complete the uh the walls oh god oh god how do we break this how do we break this jazz there we go all right so let's put in let's put in this stuff before we put in oh lord hey hey come on come on you bastard bam there we go sweet and then the glass goes back so let's set the brazier on fire Get the glass going again and then it automatically connects just like magic bam and and bam and let's set it on fire and that's it man that is how you make the braziers and then i think what i did i'm not sure if i actually completed them around the back let's see no, I didn't. So I might just do that in the, um, in the, uh, you know, right at the end when we do the cleanup of the whole place. I might just do that. Um, but for now, I think I'm very, very happy with that. Let's have a look. Looking sweet. Check it, that man. Looking good. I mean, this side is obviously going to be shorter because um, because of the entrance way. So, you know, that makes sense that it's shorter. But that's looking sweet so why don't we try and get it done on this side too bam 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 two blocks and then we going we are going into glassage one two three one two three then nether rackage Then glassage. Nether rackage. Glassage. Nether rackage. 
glass edge. <laughs> and then um, iron barrage. <laughs> there we go. Sweet. Okay, people. Now we're cooking with gas. All right. Let's just get this done. See, like, once you get into a rhythm, man, once once you, um, ch like, know exactly what you're going to be crafting, um, it's much, much easier to actually just progress with what you want to do, I find. So, like, what I, what I usually do, what I'll usually do is try and work on a design that I'm happy with. Oh, God, we ran out of freaking... Oh, oh we've got some more glass here. <laughs> um, and once I'm happy with the design... I will then only, only then will I put it into practice. So instead of like building the whole thing first, um, I'll mess around with a couple designs. So I, you know, I tried out a couple of different um, looks for these walls and I settled on this one. I really, really like it. I think it's really like brutal. It is awesome. Oh God. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. Falling. Water. Water. Must swim. Oh. Oh, God. That burned like hell, man. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was close. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Um, we've run out of time. But I really hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. It has been fun. In the next episode, guys, we are heading to the nether. We're heading back to the nether fortress to try and get more nether brickage because we need to finish this temple if it's the last freaking thing we do. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. If you haven't clicked the like button yet, do it. Or I'm getting angry with the ass. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye, everybody.